Hello all, today I want to make a video about uh, my favourite music player software, which is Kodi. Um, the reason is, I'll get into it later, I've tried uh, I've tried multiple other music player programs, I've tried Rune, and I've tried Rune actually for over 12 months, and while it's a great music player, no doubt about that, I just find it's just too expensive. Um, and also, the issue with it, the hassle you have to go through to get it running through a, the image, to get it running through a big screen. You have to use Google, Chromecast, things to plug into things, and it's too much of a hassle. So, um, yeah, I've gone back to uh, Kodi, which I originally used to use. Um, as far as audio quality, there's absolutely, what I can tell, very minimal difference. Maybe Rune would be a touch better. But Cody, that's a bit perfect. That's um, how I have it running. I have it running all well, my music stored on a NAS drive in a separate room. I've got a PC in this room, USB out to a Project S2 DAC. The video, I do HDMI straight to the projector. Um, and then from the Project Project S2 DAC, I've got, it goes through a Rotel preamp, and then I've got a Peru power amp, I've got a pair of MagniPan 0.7 speakers and a subwoofer, so you can see I do care about the audio quality, um, so as far as the audio quality of Kodi is, I see no issue at all, I know a lot of audio files look down on it, I'm not sure is, I'm not sure why, is that just because it's for free, is it regarded more so as a video playback software, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned it's, um, it's awesome. Um, what we have here is the, I've got the Titan skin running, um, now, so if I, I can see all my albums are loaded up here, nice cover artwork, um, we can click on a popular artist such as Billy Joel, I'm sure this is one thing that Rune doesn't have, which is what I like, oh, by the way, I've also tried Volumino, which I find audio quality, no issues at all, perfect. I find it's very clunky to use, drops out a lot, not too reliable unfortunately. Um, so I'll click on click on a song, open it up, you can see straight away, you can see I've got no sound running at the moment because I you know, just fear that this video might get banned if I run any form of sound. But I'll go through all the so um, yeah, see we've got the um, Artist logo comes up, that comes up automatically when you start playing an artist for a while. This will find find that information. Um, the disc spinning, um, the cover art for the disc will download automatically after some time. Um, all your artist inf information, which is the same thing as what Rune would have. Um, all your playback options, and we'll leave that for a bit. And, and you see it also scrolls through different Fan art, which is um, yeah, something <laughs> Rune doesn't have either. Um, so you see down below the bottom of the, the time bar, we have all the information regarding what file it is. So it's a flag, two channel stereo, and a very high bit rate. So this tells me this is a high res, high res version of this album, which is um, I'm just looking at my back now. It's yeah, one one ninety two k. So plays that back in. Bit perfect, bit perfect um, resolution. Um, so yeah, we can just scroll through a million albums here, not a million, but um, quite a fair few. And um, probably what it doesn't do so good if it's uh, not a well-known artist, it will take a fair bit of time to find all the um, artist information. So this is one I've. I haven't played it on, on Cody, so you can see it's the disc spinning is blank. There's no artist logo, but after some time, a few playbacks, that will all magically appear. As the as we can see now, the uh, artist logo I found normally takes a, bit, a little bit more time. So, um, one also other great feature is why I sort of preferred Rune is the DSD playback. Now, 
KD will play DSD. I'm pretty sure it um, converts it to PCM first. But if I click on my SACD file, and just for the argument, say we'll just go to Billy Joel again. Now you see all the information here. You see now on that just below the time bar, DSD, um, two channel, five, six, four, five kilobytes per second. And now my DAX is showing. I can't quite see for me, but so it's 352K. So as far as I'm concerned, that's, um, yeah, that plays DSD perfectly. Um, the only downside is, this is what Rune does do better. It doesn't combine, combine multiple versions of an album. So, for example, I might have Billy Joel Greater sits on FLAC, 16-bit, um, and then I've also got it on SACD. In Rune, you can choose between which version of the album you want to play. In Kodi, if I combine the SACD file into my library, it just gets all mixed and jumbled up into the one folder. So it's really hard to fix. So that's why I leave I leave the SACD. I don't I don't um yeah transfer it to the library. Just leave it as, as file playback. So um yeah, this is why I yeah, I've gone back to and now prefer Cody as my main playback software. Um and as far as controlling it, I'll, I'll use a mouse to control it. Probably not the ideal way, but it's, um, yeah, just a wireless mouse, plug in the computer, sit back on the lounge, happy days. Um, I also do have the app on the phone and tablet, the Kodi app. There's a free version, also a paid version for about uh, $2 or something. So um, you can control it fully from there. So as far as I can see, it has all the bases covered. Okay, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you later.